All right, let's do this. Timer is on. <clears throat> so let's rock and roll, everybody. Happy Thursday. Let's stand it up. Let's stand it up. We're going to do uh, some standing breathing today. All right. Good. Just my uh, perimeter here. All right. So today is Thursday, and we're going to do a core cardio workout. Let me get back on the screen. <clears throat> Frame here. So uh, we're going to do eight movement patterns in a moment. And we are going to do some cardio first, everything pretty much in a small little area. You don't need a lot of space. Uh, the only equipment we could utilize today is a band and some dumbbells on a regular basis. If you could just kind of think about where you're going to be working out at home and have that equipment, you know, near you in case we can grab it. But I, I really want to keep it to, you know, dumbbells, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, if you have gliders, that would be great. And some elastic bands. I did put an email out yesterday on a good inexpensive band set to purchase that does quite a bit or it's actually a kit where you can put the bands around your legs and do our hip ex our hip exercises it has um some elastic bands as well for different things um and uh some gliders you could always have gliders if you don't use it for exercise you can move your furniture with them yeah and then they come <laughs> you get them for the whole family for like 13 bucks it's like a package of four or a package of eight or something crazy. So let's get it going. All right. So anchor your feet on the ground. I want you to feel that strong connection to the ground. Let your hands relax. We're going to do a standing warm up today before we uh, get into our core cardio movements. All right. So anchor the feet, close your eyes, right hand on your belly, left hand on your chest. I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose, feel the belly, rib cage expand first. Then the chest, and take that deep breath in all the way up to your head. Eyes closed. Exhale down, exhale on the way down. Blowing out through the mouth, feeling the belly draw in. Inhale, deep breath in, belly rib cage expands for four, three, two, one. Exhale, blow out through the mouth, feel the belly draw in. Keep going, just keep breathing on your own. Inhale for four and exhale for four. Just do it on your own. And I'm just gonna chat with you a little bit. Just feel that connection to the ground. I wanna feel solid connection with all five toes, the ball of the foot, the outer foot, and the heel. I want you to create an arch if you don't have an arch. That's your foundation. Whenever we're standing, we wanna create that Solid connection to the ground, soft knees, feel your arch. Most of us have a collapsed arch, 80%. Feel that arch. If you can lengthen your spine anymore, go for it. So just lift up your collarbones. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Think about three things you're grateful for right now. Small things, remember those small things make you feel progress. When we are focused on our challenges and everything that's wrong, we often get overwhelmed and we get stressed. So think of three things you're grateful for. Great way to start the day, great way to start our workout. I'm grateful that you're here live, but I'm also grateful for those of you that listen on the recording later. I'm grateful for this opportunity to do these videos live, get to keep moving, to not be sick. All right, good. Let's go ahead and do some heel toe raises. All right, let's do some heel toe raises. Let's start warming up. So we're gonna do uh, some mobility work from the ground up, up and down. Let's go toes out, heels and toes, toes out. Okay, toes in, up and down. So working on that ankle mobility. All right, feet together, a little balance. Right foot, extend it out. 
Other direction. In and out. Maya, you waking up? No. She's not up yet. Okay. Switch sides. <laughs> Circles. Other direction. Working on balance. You want to make this harder or close your eyes. In and out. Windshield wipers. Close your eyes to make it harder. Maintain that perfect arch in your foot. Don't let it collapse. All right. Knees. Knee circles. Working on that mobility. Other direction. Slow, deep breath, still. All right, bend and extend. Bend and extend. Let's make sure those knees go in line with your second toe. Second toe, inhale, exhale. Whew. Starting to get warmer. Get that blood flow to the joints. Again, feel that connection with your little toe and the outer foot with the ground. Keep going. All right, to the hips. Let's get some, let's work on your belly dancing. Nice. <laughs> belly dancing, Maya, I can see you right now without looking at you. No shoulders, no shoulders. So hands either on the hips. Good. Close your eyes. Slow, deep breaths. Just get that full circle with the hips. Other direction. Try to not move your shoulders, just your hips. The pelvic floor muscles, you want to get those moving. Let's go up and down, pelvic tilt. Forward and back. We're going to do some bridges today. Just tuck. So forward tilt, backwards tilt. Forward, backwards. Keep going. All right, let's get some hips. Here we go. We're going to go up and over. Giant step, hurdle step. Again, keep that good posture. So working on mobility, everybody. It's a very similar uh, warm-up I'll do with some teams. Usually we'll have a bunch of uh, people lined up. Very important to work on a mobility. Up and over. All right, good. Let's go ahead and do a leg cradle. Grab it, let it go. Notice my other leg doesn't work very well. It's okay. It's getting better. Grab it, let it go. One's usually tighter than the other. You guys got a tighter one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody's got a tighter one. So just keep working on it. Remember, if you do your self-massage prior, you're going to be more loose. <laughs> Maya, don't use the walls. <laughs> All right, let's shift right to left. Right to left. <laughs> Keeping your chest up. Shift right, shift left. <laughs> nice. Oh, groin area. Keep shifting. Let's try to get a little lower. Okay, bring it up. Let's work on the rotational pattern. Trunk, rotate right, rotate left, pivoting. My foot is active. I'm, I'm not lifting it up. So dig it in, drive it into the ground. Drive, drive, drive. Keep going. We're breathing, team. Breathing's elevating. Keep it going. All right, side bend, prisoner position. Hands behind your head. Open up the elbows. We're going to do a uh, Superman flutter kick today. Open up those elbows. We're going to do that Superman in a prisoner position. Ah. Squeeze your butt if you're not. Open up the elbows. All right, big arm circles. Big arm circles. Other direction. Almost done with our mobility. Let your head kind of just go right to left. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up, thumbs down. 
All right, inhale, let's do one more thing right here. Squat with the thumbs up, thumbs down. This 45 degree angle is wide. Pattern in the YMCA world. Ah. All right, good. So let's go to eight cardio movements. We're gonna go four minutes, 30 seconds each. All right, so let's start with a march. Knees up, toes up. I'm gonna set the timer right now, 30 seconds. So when you guys, um, when you guys see that final three seconds, count down with me, go three, two, one, all right? All right. All right, are you ready? So we're just gonna march in place. Go! <coughs> so marching in place, opposite arm, opposite leg. So just 30 seconds, really try to bring your knees up, go opposite arm. When you land, knees up, Toes up, land on the ball of your foot. Keep going. So marching is our foundation for high knee skips and high knee runs. Let's really bring your knees up. Okay, good. All right, so next we're gonna go to a skip. Here we go. So we're going skips, it's the same as the march, just a drive, a drive. We're driving that ball of the foot into the ground. So high knee skips, if that bothers you, just go easy skip. Just show the swagger. Just... There's no swagger skipping. Oh yeah, <laughs> there is swagger in skipping. Just like, something like this. <laughs> something like that. Bye. Keep going. Bye. All right, jog in place. Jog in place, here we go. 30 seconds. All right. So we're going 30 seconds of each. Balls of the feet. As you get warmer, both start coming off. Let's go, let's bring those heart rates up. So again, this is four minutes long. Breathing. Shoulders relaxed. Next one's high knees. Time, all right, here we go. High knees, everybody, high knees. So we're going high knee run. Knees up, toes up. So not a jog. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Stay tall. Driving the elbows backwards like you're trying to hit somebody. Come on now, come on. You got about 10 seconds, pick it up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, time, all right. Twist and skip, let's go back to our twist. Back to our twist, and add a skip and twist. Rotate from the midsection, knees up, toes up. Opposite arm, opposite leg, rotate, rotate. Looking good, remember on your landing, Ball of the foot, not the toes. Come on, twist and skip. Time. We got two, uh, three more. Seal jacks. So your regular jack, but open and close. This one kind of bothers my knee a little bit. So I'm going to do the modification. With your arms, whether you're modifying or not, open up your thumbs. Squeeze. Squeeze like a reverse fly. Remember, it's okay to modify. You can't modify the other one. There it is. It's harder to modify with this. Come on, finish it up. Time. All right, in, in, out, out. So right foot in, left foot in, right foot out, left foot out. Here we go. In, in, out, out. Which foot's leading in? Getting warm. Halfway. Switch, other side. Left foot leads in. Ball to the feet, lift those toes up. Four minutes of cardio. Time, okay. Forward two, back two. Forward two, back two. Forward two, back two. This is our final one. Balls of the feet, everybody. Let's take those hands out of it. 
Let's go right here. Quick feet. Switch. Other foot. Switch that lead foot. Final 15 seconds. We'll take a one minute break. Well, I'm going to show the workout. So about a minute, minute and a half. Time. Take a break. Drink water. Tie your shoes. Go to the bathroom. Oh, maybe don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> you have to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. All right. So we're moving on to our eight movement patterns. I'm going to show all eight first. All right. And then we'll go through it pretty fast. Remember, it's okay. I had a discussion with John the other day about keeping our heart rate up. So remember on high intensity interval training, we don't want to keep, we don't want to keep our heart rate up. The goal is to go up, go down, go up, go down. Otherwise, you'll never truly be able to attain those higher states. All right, so this is not a higher high intensity workout. This is a core cardio day. It should be somewhat steady. So uh, you could do, when I'm reviewing the workout, Jog in place, do some jumping jacks, whatever, or, yeah, that's just totally fine. Okay, so number one, we're gonna go to quadrupeds. You guys keep moving, I have decided to sit. Bill is gonna keep moving, he can do burpees if he wants. So, but keep moving yeah, while, while you're watching. All right, okay, so on all fours, this is number one, quadruped with hip abduction, adduction. 45 degrees, we're gonna go out, in. So we're inhaling here, exhale. We're going 40 seconds, quadruped with hip abduction, adduction, and arms. Number two, straight leg bridge. We're here. How high can you lift your shoulder blades and butt off the ground? If you can, we're going to try to add a march. That is not easy. To modify that movement, just do a regular bridge hold with a march. You want to make it harder? Hands up in the air. Number three, reverse flies with your dumbbells or your band. All right, Bill's burping over there. All right, hinging up. Again, do not go too heavy on these. To make it lighter, if you, if you have too heavy of a dumbbell, bend your elbows. If you want to feel like it's harder, extend your arms with flat back, flat back. Avoid the rounding, stick that booty up. Or if you have a band, do reverse flies. Okay, another modification is, or not a modification, just another movement that would suffice, is just to do a, a plank with a rotation, reach, Rotate. That will be a good modification. You don't have any equipment. Next, plank with hip abduction, adduction. So we can either go on hands or elbows. We can go out and in again. 20 seconds each side. Kneeling. Modification. Next, hip opener crunch. Right here. We're going to make sure we imprint the spine. Belly drawn in the whole time. Up, right here. A lot of opening the legs and closing the legs today. If your belly is doming, do not do sit-ups. Do the one we did on Tuesday. Heel taps. Next, reverse crunch. This is our seventh exercise. Move from here. Curl. Inhale, curl. Arms up to make it harder. Or behind the head makes it even harder. Arms to the sides easier. And the final one, number eight, side plank with a leg raise. Modification, just a side plank, bent knee side plank, or just a leg raise. All of those are great. So we're going to alternate two at a time. Two at a time. We're going to go quadruped, straight leg bridge, just two things. Ten seconds in between. Are you ready? Let's get it going. Ready, ready, ready. I get a little music going. Ready. It's 40 second intervals, quadruped. So go ahead and get set up, Bill. Go ahead and right arm up. Left leg. We're going out and in. So it's inhale. I was getting confused. I'm not doing it. Um, so it's inhale, exhale out. Inhale back, exhale out. Ready. Three, two, one. Go. Yep. Chest is up. 
your fingers, spread your fingers on the hand that's on the ground. Thumbs up. Thumbs up in the air. There we go. Nice. Halfway, other side. So push in the ground, good posture. Inhale, exhale. Call the bones up. All right, straight leg bridge on your back. We're on three rounds, everybody, three rounds. High hips, how high can you lift your shoulder blades? Squeeze your glutes. If you can, add the march. Again, this is a very challenging movement. Just holding is fine. Modify with bent knees, high hips. Try the march that way. Lift up those hips, Maya. Come on, high knees. High knees. Time. All right. Back to the quadruped. Here we go. Back and forth, two at a time. Right arm, left leg. Thumbs up. Lengthen spine. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your belly in the whole time. Keep going. Little pulses through your mouth. Great. Halfway. So little pulses. Keep it going, everybody. Time! Okay, straight leg bridges. Here we go. Straight leg bridges, we're doing three of each. Three of each. All right, you need to. Let's try that straight leg bridge, Maya. All right, hands down. The hands help you lift up your butt. That's great. Try to keep your toes to the nose. I know it's hard, come on. Use your hands. Hands off to the sides. Halfway, we're there. Come on. What is it? Nice. Good job. Breathing, team. Breathing. I know it's not easy. Come on. Good job. Maya can do it. She didn't think she could do it. She can. Come on, team. Come on. Done. Okay. We got our third round, final round here. Let's do it. Left leg. Left, right leg, left arm. Switching it up. Inhale. Exhale. So if you need added stability, draw the belly in. But you don't really have to. You could inhale and then exhale on the way out. Switch sides. Inhale. Exhale. Remember, anytime you need more stability, draw your belly in. I don't think you need it on this exercise. Time! Bridges! Here we go. Use your hands to get those hips up. Add the marks to make it a little bit harder. Come on, everybody. High hips, shoulder blades off the ground. <laughs> Halfway! Come on, 50 seconds. Actually, 20 seconds. Sorry. 40 second intervals. I'm getting tired. I'm going to the regular bridge. Grab the knees to the chest. Good job. All right, we got our next two movements. Reverse flies and plank 
with hip abduction, adduction. All right, so let's stand it up. If you do not have dumbbells, it's okay. So grab your dumbbells. Maya, grab the band or dumbbells, whatever. Okay, if you don't have anything, that's okay. We'll do the plank right here. Slide your left through, rotate. Slide your left through, rotate. Do 20 seconds each side. Bend your knees to make it easier. All right, ready. All right, we're gonna go like this. All right, ready? Number three, reverse slide, set, go. Yes, good. If you have a band, do it here. Reverse flies. Grab the band closer to make it harder. Balance as needed. Maya, you want to go flat back. Halfway! So when you're doing the bent over version, back is flat. Yep, nice. Good job, everybody. Work on balance if you have a band. Time! All right, we got the plank with abduction, adduction. Yeah, on the hands or on the elbows. We're just going out here. A little toe tap. Bend the knee to make it easier. Lift your leg up to make it harder. Belly drawn in the whole time. Switch. Push into the ground. Belly drawn in, everybody. No dome in the belly. Little pulses through the mouth. Come on, let's go. Time. Reverse flies. Here we go. If you did not have equipment on that and you're doing back-to-back -back planks, just go without any weight. Open. This is fine. It'll be good. We're going, we're going. Take that booty out. Look straight ahead. Bend your elbows to make it easier. Close that up, huh? Oh. Forgot to give you the halfway. Sorry. Time. Well, if you're doing the other one. Sorry about that. If you're doing the halfway version. Oh, we need nothing halfway here. Yeah, nothing halfway. All right, here we go. Links. He built. Holding dumbbells, a little easier on the wrist. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. Head up, chest up, halfway. Remember the fingers when you're doing a push up. Spread those fingers, especially that thumb. Feel it. Stronger. Nice. Bending your knee to make it easier. Nice. Woo! -hoo. Looking great. Okay. Nice work. Let's go for it. Reverse flies. One more reach. One more. Stick your booty out. Go. Again, you don't need the weights. Get a bigger squeeze. Imagine you're pulling. 50 pounds up. You can make whatever weight you have harder. Halfway. 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 Woo. I can't even do anymore. Come on now. Squeeze. 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 Time. We're done with those dumbbells. All right, back to the plank. Here we go. On the elbows, on the hands. 
Side touch. How wide can you touch? Really try to get your foot out there. Really get it out. If you, if you can do off the ground, a little harder. Bend the knees to make it easier. Halfway. Really try to touch. Working on that hip mobility. Squeeze your butt, draw your belly in. Come on. Shoulders are probably on fire right now. Anybody else? Oh yeah. I'm dying. I even took a little break. Time! Oh, dude. Stretch out the shoulder. All right, four down, four to go. Other side. Slow, deep breaths. My team is leaving. They're out. They're done. Hopefully you're staying. Bill's finished the mile run. Bill's back. All right, on your back. We're going hip opener crunch. All right, hip opener crunch. We got two back-to-back -back ab exercises. No, we don't. No, we don't. We're going flutter kicks. Sorry. Flutter kicks? I don't think I went over this today. Superman, right here, with a flutter. Now I know everybody's hands cannot do that. So, bring your arms to your sides if that hurts your shoulder. We're fluttering and trying to get those hands to open up and lift your chest up. Ready. We're going to do flutter kicks and hip opener crunch. Set. Go. There we go. Hands behind your head. Yep. All the way behind your waist. There you go. Lift your chest. Lift your legs. Squeeze your butt. If I had a quarter, I would try to bounce it off Bill's butt right now. It, it, should, in the eye. it should hit me in the eye. Let's go. Let's go. High hips. Flutter, flutter. We're working on the gluteus. Elbows open if you can, or arms to the side. Arms to the side, only if it hurts them. Come on! Woohoo! Time! All right. Ab exercise, the hip opener crunch. All right, here we go. Legs up. We're going arms overhead, imprint your spine, belly drawn in, open. Open. If your belly is doming, that is not a good thing. If it is, keep your belly in and just do a heel tap. No doming bellies. Inhale, exhale. Keep that belly in. Every time you go up, breathe. Time! Back to the super people. It's actually not called a superman anymore. Superhero. Super, super Superhero. people. Superhero. Superhero. Super yeah, super people. Superhero. Super person. Super mom. I don't know. Super young girl. It should be fluttering. Oh, sorry. Flutter. Flutter. Remember, if it hurts your shoulder, go here. I Lift those thighs off the ground. You know what I'm doing? Yep. The legs should be straight, everybody. No bent knees. Come on. Come on, here we go. Gotta keep your legs straight. Move from your hip. Time! Back to the hip over the crunch. All right, here we go. Belly drawn in, imprints your spine, especially when your arms go overhead. Up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. No doming now. Inhale, exhale. Remember, modify with the heel tap. Keep that belly in, breathing above all. Almost here. Time! 
All right, to the flutter. So modification of the modification for Maya and others. Knee caps off the ground. Just do this. That's right. Come on. Knee caps off the ground. Knee the butt time. Yes. Let's let's keep the belly drawn in and the butt tight. As Bill said, that will keep your back from going into a spasm or pain. Not that high. Keep going. If you can, Just 20 more seconds. Add the you got flutter. Things. Add the flutter if you can. If you can, lift up your whole body. But this is fine. Work on your hip mobility. Keep your legs straight. Come on. There you go. All right, good. Final one of our series here, or our pair. Let's do it. Belly drawn in. Inhale, exhale. Belly drawn in, breathing on the way up. Hip opener crunches. Actually, one of my favorite crunches. Bill is adding a dumbbell. I am not. I'm modifying because I'm tired. Legs are a little tight. Keep working. Come on. Few more time. Good. Rest. Woohoo. All right. Should feel that one a little bit. We got two more things, everybody. Reverse curls, side planks. Reverse curl side planks again on your back. We are curling up from the midsection. All right. Let's get ready. Let's get on your back. My leg brace keeps uh, sliding. All right. So, final two, final two, and we are done. All right. So, we got uh, 240 seconds left, and we're done. On your back. Pull your back guys, quick, quick, quick. All right, we are. Bill's getting out of medicine ball, which is fine. Bend your knees, sir. All right, then. You can build, he's right there. Bend your knees, we're curling up and back. Ready, go. Here we go. So try to keep your, if you're doing the hands behind, like Bill is, drive your elbows into the ground. Keep your head down. All right. Otherwise, just keep your hands to your side. Inhale down, exhale up, keeping the belly in the whole time, halfway. To make it harder. Try not to swing your legs, move from here. Come on, finish it up. Nice, all right. Side plank with leg raises. We're going up. If you need to, bend your knees. This is fine. So side plank hold with a leg raise. I'll do the bent knee version. You could also just take out the whole side plank and do a leg raise. Every time you come up, exhale, draw the belly in. We don't need to hold it. Switch! Don't flop. Woohoo! High hips. Come on, we go this side. Get to the shoulder blade. Feel those hips. Time! Woo! I know, we gotta work on those hips. Here we go. Tabletop position with the legs. Belly drawn in, curl, exhale. Make sure that belly's not doming. Every time you come up, exhale. Relax your shoulders and neck. Halfway. Remember, modified heel taps, one leg. Keep an eye on that belly. Is it in? Are you breathing? Done. All right. Feel 
the abs here, guys. Okay, side plank. Here we go. Leg raise. At home, but tell like you're being videotaped right now. You work a lot harder when you know you're on camera. Yes. How you doing, man? Come on. Halfway switch. Don't flop. Stay up on your plank. Stay up. I drop. <laughs> Pull those shoulders back. This side's a lot harder for me. Ah. Ah. I hit shoulders back. Done. This side's a lot harder for me. Brutal. All right, here we go. Final two. Belly drawn in. Curl. Relax your neck. Inhale. Exhale. Halfway. You want to make it a little harder. Bring your arms up in front of you. Try not to use your hips, use your stomach. Breathing on the way up. Time. Oh. Final thing of the day. We got 40 seconds left. Okay, so this time when you do the switch, try not to flop down. Rotate right over. Nice. Imagine that ground is hot, right? <laughs> Keep those hips up, come on. 20 seconds on each side and we're done. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Switch! Just rotate, roll, right here. Oh. Mind is doing the modification of the straight. Keep those legs straight. Legs straight. I'm gonna bend this side, it's harder for me. Try to get a few more reps in. Uh, done! Let's rest. <laughs> oh, good job. Let's go ahead and flip over on your back. Grab your knee. I tell you, it's a lot easier telling you guys what to do. <laughs> Doing it myself is much harder. Switch! Uh, Grabbing the knee to the chest. Both knees. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Feel that belly rise on the inhale. Exhale, blow out. Feel the belly go in. Let's go hip opener, butterfly on your back. Bring your soles of your feet together. Grab your ankles, open up. Shoulders relaxed. Left hand, right knee, bring it across. Slow, deep breaths. Turn your head the other way. Look at that right hand. Slowly come out of it, inhale. Exhale, right hand, left knee. Look at your left hand. Once again, you may notice one side is tighter than the other. Yes. Bill said that one side is often tighter than the other, for sure. This is my tight side, the left. We're all tight on the left? Yeah. What does that mean? It means something. Grab your knees to the chest. Lori, tell us what moves and retrograde is and what planet. Yes. Yes. All right, let's go on your side. 
grab your your pant leg if you need to, like me. Oh, I can actually grab my heel today. Look at that, I'm getting better. Try to grab your foot, your heel, something. Slow, deep breaths. Inhaling, exhaling. Remember the ideal world, warm up with a foam roll prior, self-massage prior to our workouts. You can even do it at the end. Like right now, I feel really tight with my right thigh, my quad. I really need to spend more time on loosening that up. Let's open up the hip a little bit more now. So let's try to pull that leg back. Hip flexor stretch. Knees are no longer on top of each other. Breathing. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Feel quad front of hip. Squeeze your butt on that side. Slowly come out of it. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> okay, other side. I'm gonna flip. All right, grab the foot. My good side. Here. Ah. Squeeze your butt. Breathe. Knees are on top of each other. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Open up the hip. Breathing. Open up that hip. Big squeeze. All right, let's go to child's pose to finish it up. Sit back as far as you can on your heels. This is my, uh, my most challenging exercise of my knee, so I will not be going back that far. But that is okay. Just go as far as you can. Reach forward, sit back. So sit back. Reaching forward, feel that traction in your low back. Stretching out your lats. Remember our word of the week, everybody, is calm. Calm. Right now, breathe in calm and out fear. Do a couple of those. In calm, out fear. Nothing to fear except for our own fearful mindsets. Think calm. Breathe in. Exhale, release. All right, everybody, we are good for the day. So have a great Thursday. Thank you, Bill. Maya, Maya's having a little trouble waking up today. She's uh, not her smoky self. We need to go to bed a little earlier, right? Oh, so uh, <laughs> Bill's been up all night texting, three in the morning. Uh, so remember, sleep, everybody, get your sleep. It's really important for the immune system. Your belly will be flatter when you're sleeping between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Your belly will flatten without even working out. So work on your sleep. Thanks for joining me. Remember guys, um, we have all the videos housed in a few different areas. I'm posting them on our Facebook group, our coaching group, number one. I have my own YouTube channel, Brian Champ. Uh, you can find them on there. You can find like 15 years ago as well, the last 15 years. Or last... You can see Brian with hair. Yeah, you can see me with hair. 10 years ago, we started videoing, not whole videos, but just highlight videos. Those are there, but there's no shortage of exercises um, or videos or workouts or whatever. Just keep moving. And um, remember, if uh, you don't have any exercise equipment and you want to just do a small investment, uh, get some bands. Um, I put, the, I put it, an email out yesterday on a band package that's like $25, $30. That's pretty solid for the, for the ankle band stuff and the armbands all in one kit with different sizes. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Uh, and lighter is very inexpensive. Yeah. Okay? So have a great Thursday. Empty water bottles can be used as weights. Yes, empty water bottles can be used as weights. So, uh, hi, Jen, what's up? So I'm just looking at the chats right now. Have a great day, guys. And uh, thanks for joining Lisa, Shannon, Tanya, Martina. Good work, everybody. Thanks for coming, and we'll talk later. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, you got it.
Good to see you, kind of. You too. I hear you. Yeah.